so the remarkable success story of TAVI looks set to continue based upon the outstanding results of the Sir TAVI trial presented at the ACC this morning. Sir TAVI is the second large randomised control trial to evaluate the role of keyhole treatment of aortic stenosis in comparison with conventional open surgery in subjects who are at intermediate risk based upon international classifications. In this trial, almost 2,000 patients were randomised to either conventional surgical aortic valve replacement or percutaneous treatment using the first generation core valve device and analysed over two year follow-up for the major primary endpoint of death or disabling stroke. And the headline outcomes are that at two year follow-up, despite extraordinarily good results of surgery, that TAVI is able to match these outcomes head to head in every clinical outcome measure. Importantly, from the perspectives of patients and also for health economic providers, TAVI was associated with the low risk of important complications, atrial fibrillation, renal failure and significant bleeding, and also associated with a shorter time in hospital and a much quicker recovery, restoration of normal activities and improvement in quality of life. The implications for the community are major. The long-term implications for cardiac surgery are also considerable. We have ongoing randomised trials looking at even lower risk patients and we have ongoing intensive observational studies examining the question of durability of the TAVI devices. And as these data emerge over the next five to ten years, there is a very clear signal emerging that percutaneous treatment of aortic stenosis is going to be the clear winner for all patients across all risk categories. Thank you.